Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are claimed to have bought membership to one of Los Angeles' most exclusive private clubs, according to Page Six. The royal couple were photographed at the San Vicente Bungalows, a chic West Hollywood hotspot owned by hotelier Jeff Klein shortly after they were asked to vacate their UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. The club, which is a two-hour drive away from their £12 million, £14. 7 meters, Montecito Mansion, hosts bigger stars than the royal couple a source has claimed. A club member told Page Six, I know that San Vincente has a back door for celebrities, so no one needs to see you coming and going. They're really all about privacy. They have way bigger stars than Harry and Meghan coming in and no one will ever know they're there. But Harry and Meghan said, we're fine and that they didn't need to use it. And even when they left, they used the main entrance. During their time, the couple chatted with guests including actress Kate Hudson and ordered vast amounts of food which they barely touched. A San Vicente spokesperson has declined to comment on Harry's membership. It comes as a Redfield and Wilton survey conducted for Newsweek revealed that Prince Harry's net approval rating fell from minus 7% in January to minus 10% on February 19. Harry approval rating has dropped significantly by 48 points since December 5 where he had a positive score of 38%. Meanwhile, Meghan's rating fell by 23% since then after being at minus 13% in January. The Duchess has been keeping her head down following the bombshell release of Harry's controversial memoir in January. A source told Us Weekly, Meghan has been keeping her head down in Montecito, taking care of the kids and working on projects that are coming up in the months ahead. They added that Meghan has been happy to let Harry take center stage. He is flying all over the place to promote Spare but most of the time he's returning home to Montecito and not staying out of town very often because he wants to be with the kids. Don't miss! Meghan and Harry trying to recreate royal court in US, claim, latest, Harry slammed over drug use as US asks do we still want him? Claim, analysis, resurfaced video shows Meghan's response to being interrupted, video, Netflix announced the Duke and Duchess of Sussex explosive recent series is its second highest ranked documentary ever. Harry and Meghan began its release on December 8, in the lead up to the publication of the Duke's controversial memoir Spare, and saw damaging claims leveled at the royal family throughout six episodes. Netflix reported its fourth quarter earnings on Thursday and disclosed a gain of 7. 7 million subscribers during the October to December period, a stretch that included the debut of an ad supported option for $7, 5 pounds. 65 per month. As defined by cumulative view hours in the first 28 days, it also reported on Wednesday as its third most popular series ever, Glass Onion its fourth most popular film and Harry and Meghan its second most successful documentary series.